Hey everybody, I know it's been a while, but I am finally back with another vlog. And today we're looking at Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales, voiced by Shameik Moore, is a perfectly normal teenager living a perfectly normal life until one day he is bitten by a radioactive spider, and you know what that means. And suddenly, gaining the powers of Spider-Man and sticking to everything would be enough to turn anyone's life upside down. But to make matters even worse, Kingpin starts messing with the laws of time and space, as supervillains are wont to do, and this action brings forth several Spider-Men from various parallel universes. One of them is a pig. This was a lot of fun, a very enjoyable look at various incarnations of the web-slinging superhero. Some weirder than others. It can get weirder! Really just encompassed everything that comic book superheroes can be. Fun, powerful, tragic, relatable, some are good role models, some not so much, and some are just plain silly. The movie has a great sense of humor, the little jab at Spider-Man 3 at the beginning was a nice touch, and while it does have some sad and emotional moments, and they are done pretty well, mostly it's just plain fun. Really, I'm just glad we finally have a Spider-Man movie where the main character is not Peter Parker. Although he is in the movie. Twice. The multiverse is a funny thing, and this version of Peter is very different from any previous incarnation we've seen in the movies. This is a Spider-Man that's just given up. He is basically everything a superhero should not aspire to be. It's lazy, tad bod Spider-Man. And of course we have Miles Morales, who is awesome. He's basically the opposite of Peter Parker in this movie. He genuinely wants to help people as much as possible, and Parker just couldn't give a shit. And we have Gwen Stacy, who was also awesome. The ballet shoes were an interesting touch, uh, but you know what? Most badass ballerina ever. Spider-Man War was pretty funny. There are a few jokes about him trying to figure out how color works since he comes from a black and white universe. Penny Parker was just plain adorable. Spider-Ham was everything I hoped he'd be. And there are several supervillains in this movie, but the leader of the group is Kingpin, and he was great. And almost sympathetic because of his motivations, except for the fact that he's a ruthless, murderous crime lord. The animation is fantastic. It really looks like a comic book come to life on the big screen. The action sequences are expertly done and a lot of fun to watch, and I love how the various spider people all have their own visual style. And some aspects of the animation just look bizarre, like Kingpin, for example. He's basically a square with a face. But for what they're trying to do, it totally works. As far as the cast, I really have no complaints at all. They all did a fantastic job. Shameik Moore did a great job of bringing to life every aspect of Miles Morales, from his various anxieties with superpowers and being in a new school, and his awkward-as-hell attempts at flirting, and also his huge heart and his desire to help his family and the city and save his friends. Jake Johnson as Dad Bod Spider-Man was hilarious. Haley Steinfeld was awesome as Spider-Gwen, but that's no surprise, she's no stranger to voice acting. Katherine Hahn's Doc Ock was delightfully nuts. The only minor issue I have with this movie is it doesn't do a very good job of introducing some of the villains. Really, the only ones that get a decent intro are Kingpin and Doc Ock. Now, in the case of Green Goblin, I think most people probably already know him from previous movies, so that's not a huge deal, but... Prowler, I don't even think they mentioned his name until like the last 30 minutes, and I don't think they mentioned Tombstone's name at all, unless I just missed it. If you're not already at least mildly familiar with these characters, I don't think it'll hurt your enjoyment of the movie any, but you may find yourself asking once or twice, who the hell is that guy? But otherwise, I really don't have any complaints. This was awesome. One of the best movies I've seen all year will probably end up in my top 10. Um... As for whether or not it's the best superhero movie of the year? Well, it does have to compete with Black Panther. Hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna have to think about that one. If you haven't already seen it, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Go see Into the Spider-Verse. Till next time, take care.